Hey, Kila. I'm going to be right here, bud. I'm going to hang out here. I'm going to make a malt liquor video. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. This is not that fun. This is work. Malt work. Is you going? Is you going to stay? Is you going to stay? A little windy here at the coast today. Is that gonna work? How, how are you good there? All right. So uh, drove out to the coast today. Gonna be here for three days. Uh, looks like the yurts are deserted. I have the place pretty much to myself, which is how I like it. Um, the uh, the weather is gonna be great. And uh, I've got uh, four Mickeys, a six of Old E. I got some Carlo Rosti for the Brister. Um, what else? I think that might be it. Uh, might be not enough. Might be way too much. I don't know. Uh, oh, oh, we just rode past a herd of elk. And, there, and I've seen this before. And I don't, I don't know if it's hunting season or whatever. But sometimes I see somebody following in a pickup truck talking into a, uh, a CB. It looks like, like they're doing like reconnaissance. Like they're leaving the state park now, buddy. Now they're going to be crossing the highway. Hit them. Uh, I think I would just go hang out over the highway. I mean, the whole idea of like going into the park and, and trailing them out of the park. I know, it's like, it's just a lot of meat, right? Like you could... Get one of those elk, and uh, your family's eating elk meat all year long. So I get it. I get it. Oh, uh, what else? Uh, podcast came back. That was good to see the podcast back. Sounds like they're both busy. Too busy to watch YouTube videos about people drinking. Uh, it's sort of gorgeous. I think we should walk. This might. It might be more wind that way. Uh, but you'll be able to see stuff even if you can't hear me. Okay, Keila, we're moving out, bud. We're bugging out. Calm down. <laughs> Actually, I keep telling my dog to not breathe. He gets in the car and he gets excited. He's like, ah, 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 ah. And I'm like, Keila, no breathing. Uh, so I got to do Brister's uh, video with a Carlo Rossi. Probably weigh in on the whole uh, uh, debate between uh, the Brister and Mr. Met 40 ounce because they both have really good points. And uh, what else? Oh, I got to do my uh, my question video. I put some questions out. A couple people answered them. Uh, Laura, Layla, uh, Outlander, a couple ones that uh, catch my caught my attention. A few other people and. Uh, Oh, then in, on Facebook, a bunch of people ask me questions to answer while I'm at the coast. Uh, one of them was about, it's the female orgasm a myth? <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> uh, that one's going to be delicate. That's going to be a delicate one to answer. I think I'll just get drunk and answer it anyway. So beautiful. Um, you know, I've been I've been watching. You know, I never know. You know, sometimes when I, I'm, I watch a fair amount of YouTube videos, um, and I never know sometimes if people really want more attention or not. If they want to be, if they want to go more mainstream, or or if they're happy with just them and a couple of their friends watching. Because I think for, like, for me, like, I was tickled pink when, like, six people watched one of my first videos and one person left a comment. I was like, oh, that's so precious. Uh, and then I think, but then I think that it's just cool that a village, I was become part of a village and, you know, you get a certain amount of views because there's a certain amount of people in the village. They want to hear what you have to say, uh, I hope. See where you're at. Uh, laugh with you, share some stories, tell you to burn down your homebrew equipment, things like that. 
Oh, but anyway, I was thinking about views. Uh, like, come, some, every once in a while, this happened to all of us, I assume it's happened to, to a lot of us, is that one video gets a whole lot of views for some reason. Uh, one of my friends uh, said, he's like, I put the word fuck in my, uh, in my title, and I got a zillion views. Well, not a zillion, but I got a lot of views. That looks like the entrance to a fort. Let's go look at it. Hey, Kila! Kila! Slow down. Kind of fort-ish. It's fort-esque. Actually, this place looks kind of familiar. Fire pit. Oh, I'm running out of energy. Oh, yeah, this thing that I'm going to be doing... Uh, the thing I'm going to be doing here is switch it over to the GoPro. Now I can't, I can't, I can't get my camera out of that. There we go. Yeah, switch it over to the GoPro. Well, it'll be fun. I spent a lot of money on that GoPro, and I should start uh, learning about it. It always frustrates me when somebody has something, and they don't experiment with it at all in any way and form. Like, they act like they're just holding it for somebody. They don't want to. They don't want to mess it up. Uh, reach a swell. Oh, actually, some some people wrote me here from Astoria, and uh, some friends uh, wrote me. The friends that I've become get to know on uh, Facebook uh, wrote me from uh, Seaside. And I thought, you know, maybe I should uh, touch base with some of those cats. And I, I think this might be my last vacation for uh, for months. And uh, I, I was feeling a little overwhelmed at work, and I just thought, man, you know, I just want to go out and be by myself. Be by myself. Get my drink on, my food on. Get a kilo tired. Oh, also take some pictures. I'm looking forward to taking some pictures. Okay, Key, let's go, bud.